Running some OSU test plots in North Pickaway County. Ty Higgins on the Ohio Agnet with Andrew Kloffenstein. And Andrew, uh, this is a, a nitrogen test plot. Tell me exactly what we're doing here and whose farm we're on. So we are uh, currently testing different modes and timing and applications of nitrogen. We're currently on Radcliffe Farms in Northern Pickaway County. And looking at a lot of different timing aspects such as uh, mid-season versus late season versus early season nitrogen. Specifically looking at uh, use of urea and nitrogen and then the modes of nitrogen such as Y drop, center drop with a tube or knifing nitrogen in. And by looking at those different things we can draw conclusions the best way to actually put on nitrogen for the growing season. And the big thing to learn out of this is different seasons require different uses of nitrogen where this year may have been better to hold back nitrogen uh, due to the dry uh, weather conditions but this field in particular has got a lot of the rain so we were able to put on a little bit more nitrogen and allow the crop to use that uh, uptake later in the growing season. One of the things we've been paying attention to here this year is standability and so far you've seen a little bit of everything. Yeah, so right now on this side of the field we have a lot of gravel and uh, lighter soils. And we really range in really light soils where water may have laid. We do have some standability problems, but for the most part this field has done very well. But then again, this field had a lot of the rain and uh, the stalks are a lot better conditioned. Are the results instantaneous because you see the monitors here to your right and you have all the latest technology of course uh, with Ohio State and utilizing everything you can but uh, when, how, when do those results come in and, and how soon do you know exactly what you're looking at here in the field? Yeah so when we planted the corn hybrids the beauty of the field view app is we were allowed to name the hybrids different names so we can actually know results instantaneously as we're taking the crops off. So if we uh, had 63.65 a.m., we could actually just put a dash A, B, C, D, and then as we go take the corn off, we know the results uh, based off hybrid, but for each test instantaneously. You mentioned we're at Radcliffe Farms. How does that relationship work with the university and the farmer itself? Obviously, uh, they have a, a choice on what they plant and when it's planted. Yeah. So. A lot of our research, about 90%, is all done with cooperating farms and this allows us to really build the relationship between the farmer and uh, Ohio State and educate and bridge the gap in private industry. So they still make all the agronomic decisions, we may, may still aid in those decisions. But it's all about the learning aspect. So when we can go in a room to start looking at nitrogen study, we have their agronomist, we have the farmers, and we have us. And we all sit down and around the table and come up with the protocol that the farmer is comfortable with and that we're comfortable with. And that allows us to make a plan for the growing season. Obviously through the growing season, plans change. So nitrogen is always changing in what we're going to apply. So we always uh, have weekly meetings or daily phone calls to allow us to make the best decision going forward and still get the best results at the end of the growing season. I know you mentioned there are a lot of different types of soil just in this field we're in now, but are the results what you expected? Yeah, so uh, multi-hybrid is always a learning experience, but nitrogen we planted in this field mainly on three different soil types. but. Uh, we're going to know here in a little bit what the results are going to be. A lot of the uh, imagery that we've taken through the growing season, we can see striping. So there is going to be difference in treatments. Uh, just to see what the differences are, we're going to know here probably in the next uh, eight hours or so. Andrew Kloppenstein, our guest for the CAB Cam here on the Ohio Agnet. He's working with Ohio State here at Ratcliffe Farms, taking some field trials off just north of Circleville in northern Pickaway County. Ty Higgins on the Ohio Agnet, and we'll see you down the road.